Hey there, in this video I want to share with you how to install the Facebook Pixel onto a landing page in Lead Pages. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is log into um, your online business manager or your business Facebook page. I like to work only from the online business manager uh, because it's more legit um, and I run a lot of Facebook ads. So. When you go in, you go to Pixels, the top, and then you want to get to the pixel you want. So make sure it's on the pixel you want. Okay, so what we can do here is um, View Pixel Code. Go to Actions, go to View Pixel Code right there. So the first thing you want to do is just hit copy here with a little, this first section. This this explains to you how to do the whole thing, but I just want to show you in a video because it's still pretty weird to figure out. So you want to take this and put the little copy button. And we're going to put the standard code, meaning that same base code. We're going to go into, so you go into lead pages, you go into tracking, and then you go into analytics. And we're gonna go to the one that says head section. It's the first one. And we're gonna paste. That is all we do for the landing page. So the initial page where people sign up, we only need the base code. This is called the base code because it just tells me this person was here. It doesn't tell me if the person converted, if they opted in, if they bought anything, if they added something to a shopping cart. Well, first of all, because that doesn't that functionality isn't here, but we want this on every single page. You want this on your main website. Um, you want this everywhere because this is going to allow you to retarget people. So once you have this set up, you can then go and uh, retarget people with this um, information. This basically puts like a little tag on their shoulder or like the bottom of their skirt or something like, okay, this person's been on my website. And so then what Facebook does is then it goes and like creates like a little magnet for them again and finds that tag, finds people with that tag to show them things again if you ask it to. Okay, so save. And then we're going to close this. I want to go to publish options so that I can get this URL. Now you want to install, go to use the Google Chrome. You can't do this with um, Safari. So go into Google Chrome and you uh, want to install something called the Pixel Helper. It's just a little extension. Uh, and here it is. Now, gosh, it's not working. This is the usual. Uh, sometimes things don't work right away. You want to update. Sometimes it just takes a minute to like click through. I've updated it. It's saved. Um, okay, there we go. Now we have one pixel. And that's exactly what I need. I just need it to show that people have viewed this page. Okay? So this is the first step. Next, we need to measure if somebody actually opts in because there's certain things you can do. If you know that they've opted in, you can stop showing them things to opt in. It saves you money because you're not putting it in front of people that have already opted in. Um, if, if we know who's opted in, we're able to better track the efficiency of our ads like are they working so what we need to do is go back to the pixel tab that we were looking at and then what we need to do is install an event code so we're going to copy the code that you want I personally like lead when I'm um, doing an opt-in because for me in my business a lead is somebody who has opted in okay so we're going to copy this and then we're going to go to the thank you page. So 
if they've landed on the thank you page, you know that they actually opted in. They completed the form and landed on the thank you page. Does that make sense? And so that's how you're going to put put it on the thank you page. So I'm going to go with, I can't remember now. I have two thank you pages for this. Um, I think it's thank you page one. Um, because here I have a little uh, upgrade. It's a little tripwire offer. So they're on the thank you page. Okay. This is the thank you page. I have a little tripwire offer, which I'm making to them to ask them to buy one of my smaller programs. And this, as you can see, I used a different template in lead pages. So it looks a lot different, but it's a great opportunity for me to show you that it's the same thing. Um, so what you do is, where is it? <laughs> That's the funny thing. I can't find it now. I think it's lead page options. Here we go. Yeah, lead page options, and then you go to tracking codes. See, I already have my pixel code in here. So the first, I'm going to delete this so I can explain this to you. The first thing you need to do is actually install that same long code first. So I have a thing that keeps everything. So I'm going to install the first code first. So the same one that went on the landing page also needs to go here. Otherwise, it won't work. That base code needs to be along with the custom lead code. So then we add the lead code. And so now you have two pixels on this page. We're going to save this and then I'm going to go to publish so that I can grab the URL. And then I'm going to put that here. And this is the actual freebie. And then at the end, I ask them to opt in to get my little $40 product, okay? Next, if you look here under the pixel helper, which I would love for you to install, uh, which there's there should be directions right on that Facebook manager thing. Two pixels. See, view page and lead. That's exactly what I need. Now, you might be thinking, I only need lead here. Why does it have two? You can't have anything without view page. View page will always be um, a pixel. So now anyone that lands on this page um, will be counted as the lead. And when you're setting up your ad, when you hit conversions, it allows you to track who has actually opted in based on that ad. So just the tracking ability is much greater when you do this um, and your ability to make sure you have everything. So I'm just going to review that one one more time just because it can be a little confusing. So on the thank you page, you want to in install number one, the base one, the long one at the very beginning. So you're going to copy that one and you're going to paste it. Um, and I don't even know if I told you exactly where to paste it. Head tag tracking code. Yeah, I didn't tell you that. Head tag tracking code. So you're going to paste the original code. Then at the very end, you're not going to close this out yet. We need to install the second one. So you continue to go down and then you go to install event code and you select the event you want. As you can see, you can get really customized on this stuff. Like you can go to even purchase, like I would put purchase under the thank you page for my course because I know they've purchased. Okay, so anyways, for this one, we're doing lead. So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it here. And then we have the lead. So we have both. We're going to hit done. We're going to hit save. And then we're going to always, always test stuff when you're doing Facebook ads. So then you go here and there you have your two um, in your pixel helper, the page view and the lead. I hope that helps to demystify the entire um, Facebook pixel thing. Um, so that is it. Have an awesome day. Have a good day.